An Omaha woman thought she hit the jackpot when she literally ran into a $20 bill. But as Aaron Murray explains, a small device along with even more cash put her face to face with Omaha police. Lori Sasson never expected anything to hit her windshield Tuesday, especially not this. Oh my God, I just saw a $20 bill. <laughs> she pulled her car over before jumping onto Interstate I-80 at 60th Street and walked back to get the 20 bucks. But it was not just 120, it was a stack of 20s. So it was around here that I found the money and I just quickly picked it up and then took it to the car and immediately drove off calling 911. She thought maybe it belonged to a small business owner, but it didn't take long for an Omaha cop to meet up with her and tell her where it really came from. He looked at me and he said, now you're a part of a bank robbery. The stack of 20s wasn't a regular stack of 20s. It had a tracker in it and it came from U.S. Bank. Bank employees at the 50th and L branch had just been robbed at gunpoint by these two men. Police won't say how much they got, just that they found their ditched car a few blocks away. And when we showed Sasson the bank robber's pictures, the seriousness of the crime really sunk in. This is a guy you can see holding the gun. Oh my gosh. Out. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. And then there's this guy. This is the second suspect hopping over the counter. Oh my gosh. And this is the one that I was involved with or? Yeah. Oh my gosh. She just hopes after they rule her prints out, police will be able to match a print to one of these bank robbers. Joe Mallory, hindsight is always 2020, but if any of us ever come across something that could be part of a crime, like a huge wad of 20s with a bank roll around it, don't touch it. Because Sasson touched the money, police had to fingerprint her and do a DNA swab of her mouth just to rule her out as a suspect. Reporting live with photographer Nick Bohan, Aaron Murray, WOWT 6 News.